Hello and welcome to Tech Edify. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms to do basic bookkeeping for your business. Now, if you're a business owner or you are operating any business, there is a need for you to keep track of every single income and expenses that your business runs. This can help you to track your data and also to organize yourself very well for even tax. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic form that you can use for this kind of bookkeeping for your business. Now, how do you go about it? So let's quickly launch a browser. Now, when you launch a browser, just type Google Forms. So Google Forms. So then we need to sign in. Now you need to have a Gmail account to do that. So when you come to your Google Forms now, you will see a blank. So we're going to use a blank form to create our own form. So let's launch it. So here we're going to give a form a title so you can use your business name. All right. So we're going to use basic bookkeeping for tech edify. You can just use any name at all. Now, one thing that we need to know is that in bookkeeping, uh, date is very, very important in records keeping. So we're going to make our first form field date. So I'll just name it transaction date. All right. So the transaction date, we need to change the data type. So I'll come here and then I'll choose date. So in the forms, when we are filling, we'll see a date there. Now it should be required because you can't have a transaction without date. And the next thing that we're going to look at it, duplicate this one. We're going to just change it. So I'll just change it and then let us do transaction type. So I'm going to do this one transaction type. So the transaction type we're going to use either it is an income or expenses. So we're going to have a radio that is multi choice for that. So the first one I won't do it income and the next one I'm going to do it expenses. All right. So here when we get there, we'll choose which type of transaction are we adding? Is it an expenses or is it an income? You can also make that one a required. So I'll just sort duplicate it by using this one. So I'm just going to go to the next one. So I'll do transaction category. So the category we're going to use to categorize whether it's a sales record, whether it's a purchase record, whether it's a salary or whatever. So transaction category. So we're going to use drop down. So we are going to list whatever that we're going to choose from there. So I'm going to do sales and then I'll do purchases maybe when you do purchase for your business like goods or service you can just record it there the sales may be for sales purposes so please on the transaction category you can just add up various categories of how your business operation is it depends on the type of business that you are doing so let me just do salary also so i'll do salary i'll also do maybe a bank deposit you can add as many options as you want depending on the nature of your business so let me just add the last one. All right. So that is what we want. So here too, we can just make it a required um, because you need to choose from a category. And the next thing that we're going to go is transaction description or description. So let me just name it description. So the description is going to be what we are going to enter or type. So I'm just going to change this into a short answer. So we're going to go by putting a description or uh, let me just use the paragraph so maybe we can enter enough information there so that is transaction description so maybe the description might be for maybe uh, prepaid or whatever anything that might not fall in the category you can put it manually here so we're going to go to the description now the next thing is we're going to do so you can use this one to add another question if you want to duplicate this this is to delete so in case all this thing that you have done, you don't need, you can just use delete. You can modify it as when you want. So let me go to the next one and add a question here. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is reference. You know, if it's a transaction that we are adding that involves a reference, let's say it's an invoice, probably we might need an invoice number or anything that we can use to refer to the document. So we can just say, transaction reference so that's our transaction reference so uh, with that one then we're going to just make it a short answer you can contain characters or even numbers all right that one we will not make it required because not all entries or transactions that we may have reference for it and then the next thing i will do is to let me just duplicate this one and then i'll just do it amount that is where we're going to put in the value all right so that's going to be amount so we're just going to make it a short answer and now the last one that we're going to do is we just want to add. So let's make the amount a required 
because every transaction that you enter probably might have a value for it so let me just add another one then let me do it file attachment or document that one can be optional maybe there are certain businesses like every transaction they want you to add or attach a file to it so let me just say file attachment all right so here we're going to change this one and then we'll do it file upload so this will enable us to upload a document so we are done with our forms we are done with the uh, forms that we're going to use for basic record keeping now there is one thing that we need to do um if you want to bold uh, the heading so that it will be vividly seen you can do that so you can go ahead and customize how you want it to be so let me just bold all these ones all right so the next thing that we need to do is that uh, we need to come to the settings here and do one or two changes over here so just scroll down now when you scroll down there is a portion called what presentation now the presentation can help you to add a confirmation message that is after they have submitted it uh, what message that you want it to come so maybe um thanks for entering or whatever any confirmation message that you want to pass on all right so you can use any message that you want to use so let me just save it here and forget about the various uh this thing this is the restriction that is to disable auto save for all respondent it's actually going to be a form for your business so probably either you yourself or a worker that you want to assign this later i'll show you in the video how you can create a link on their desktop that you can use to do that so um for the responses we don't want to collect their email so we just do not collect email so we are done with it so we have to uh, publish it first so let me just go to the publish now when you go to publish here yeah, we're just going to maintain this one that is anyone with a link except maybe you are using it for a private purpose but it, this is for a business so i will just manage this one with that so we just have to publish it here so when you publish it that means this form is, is ready to receive entries uh, if there is any entry that comes this is where you are going to see it now we don't have any entries I'm going to add some entries and then when we finish, I will be showing you how you can extract all this data into Excel or the Google Sheet that you can analyze the data that you have. So now let's copy the link here. So if you come here now, you will see the copy responder link here. So this is the link. You can even shorten it. All right. So I'll just copy it and let me just save it. So one thing is that you can use this, uh, for, you can use this link anywhere. So I just want to set a simple shortcut for it on our desktop. So let me just right click and then come to new and then I'll just say shortcut. So I'll just paste the link that I have here and I'll just go to next. And then I will name it maybe my bookkeeping. So we just name it my bookkeeping form. So I'll just finish it. So this is a link. The reason why we've added a link here is that any time that I want to access the form, I can just uh, double click to open straight up without even remembering the link that i just copied so we've just saved it here now one thing is that you can change the icon here so maybe you wanted to make it a little bit nicer so let me just change the icon and now any of them you can use um let me just use this one basic one so i'll just apply it so it looks like it's an application so don't forget that you need to be online to access this form because it's a google forms so let's see how it works so let me just double click on it and let's see how it goes so now this is the forms we created so this is it yes so all the entries that we have on our forms is here so let me do one transaction so let's say the date normally you can just tap here to set the date so let's assume maybe the transaction that i'm doing is just today i'll just select it and the date is entered very well so i'll choose the transaction type maybe it's an income and then the category of the transaction maybe is a sales and then transaction description so maybe sales for today all right so we don't need any reference and the amount let's say the whole total sales for the day was maybe 520 whatever currency that you are using now the attachment to i think we made it compulsory so let me just go back there and change the attachment not to be compulsory so all right let me just take it from this one i don't want to make it what compulsory because it's not all data that we can what allow it to be uploaded all right so now let's let, let's delete i want to just remove the attachment field we don't need it so 
i'll just delete it here so let me go back all right so now this is our form so let me just fill in so let's go so to choose the date you click here and then maybe you set the transaction so let's, let's assume maybe it's today that i'm filling so it's an income and then i'll put in the category so i'll come to description maybe sales for today we don't have any reference but the amount i'll put it there maybe 580 cities or dollars whatever currency that you have so here i will just submit it so at the end of the day anytime you do any entry for your business you need to submit it here so i've already submitted it i can do another entry so you can go ahead and do another transaction maybe on the 13th we had a transaction of sales again and then i'll come here choose the category and then i'll choose what the description maybe sales and then, then reference if you have a reference for that you put it there and that sales was maybe 850 i'll just submit it all right so that's how it goes so anytime you want to do entry you can just do that over and over let me add expenses here so the date let me choose 24 and then the category miss as you may be salary i mean you can include any category that you want from there maybe salary to one of our workers so salary to mercy then you put in there right so i'll submit it here so that is how you can be passing on information onto the form so if you go back to your response that is the form that we were created that is there's a tab here called response You'll be seeing all the entries that we have done they have come here so if you want to view it by questions you can come here so this is it so you see the date everything is here all right so this is a summary of it now it's very interesting it shows all your various entries in a chat form so you can see a transaction of income and expenses if you are doing analysis this can help you to understand how your business is working so you'll be seeing the indication of income and expenses if you go to the category section you also see the categories of what you've added now i told you that you can just modify the form to suit how you want it to be all right so this is it now let's see how to extract this data into excel or to the google sheet that we can analyze it very well so i'll just click on this one that is link to sheet now when you do that it's going to create a new spreadsheet for you so i'll just choose create and automatically it opens it in excel or google sheets so this is how your entries is going to be like and it's looking very very interesting and at the end of the day you can use this to analyze your information now one thing is that you can even filter it per the date so you can choose to filter the column here in the same way if you want to view bit by this you can also filter the column here so when you choose that at the end of the day if you have to view maybe only income you can choose only income and let me just undo the expenses then i'll click ok and it will sort out only income data for me if i want to filter it also by expenses i can also do that that is it and as you know in excel you can do calculation so let's assume maybe i want to sum up all this income so if you have a lot of records you can do that by filtering which data that you want to see so the transaction type can help us to differentiate between whether the transaction is income or expenses so i prefer you add the filter to this one so that if you are to filter it by income that means at the end of the day all what you will be seeing here will be that category or that type so if it's expenses all entries that will come here will be expenses all right so that is how you can go about it so at the end of the day you can just analyze and do a whole lot so let me just filter and then choose all the expenses and let's do the calculation for the expenses so let me just undo income and i'll just hit ok it has sorted all expenses for me so if i want to do calculation i'll just click here and now you know in excel you can do calculation with any of these functions so if you come here you see a lot of functions we have some some average count maximum so maybe i want to find out the total here so i'll just click some and now i'll just select this data here so when i hit enter at the end of the day it has calculated the total for me here so i can even indicate it and show my total expenses for the day so this can help you to manage your business if you are running any business i prefer you go by this by using google forms which at the end of the day it can help you 
to keep track of your various transactions and at the end of the day you can analyze this all these things are accessible on your google drive so if you go to your google drive you can access all these things here so let me know in the comment section if you want this kind of uh, forms for your business i can assist you and i can help you any challenges that you'll be facing uh, just put it in the comment section i'll be there to guide you because your business need data and the data determines how your business is growing if you don't have this record showing or income and expenses at the end of the day you might not know how your business is running so if you are having a business just type in the comment section i own a business and i need this i'm going to help you to do that so feel free to ask any question and also don't forget to share this video if this video has been very helpful to you uh, please give it a thumb up and also share it to anyone that has a business and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if today happens to be your first time i'll see you in the next video